Document is a no-code legal document automation platform. With the Clio integration, users can connect their Clio Manage account to Document and pull their Clio data into their Document workflows. When a user links their Clio account with their Document account, they can reference Clio contacts and Clio matters using questions in their Document workflows. So here we'll consider primarily Clio contacts, but using Clio Matters works in much the same way. So here we can see inside of our Clio account, we have this list of contacts. And so if we click into this one we've just created, we can see that the contact is fully populated with addresses, contact information, and associated matters. Then we can come over into Document in another tab in our web browser. And on the master dashboard, we can click into the editing view of this workflow called Wills here. And then now that we've linked our Clio account, we can use that information in our, in our questionnaire. So here we can start with this question, who is the client? We add a variable name and then we'll reference that variable name in our output document. And we can see here that the question type is Clio contact. So our options to answer this question will come from our list of contacts that exist in Clio. In addition to this Clio contact type question that the user has added, the user can add any number of other questions to the same workflow. So these can be other Clio contact or Clio matter type questions, or they can be questions that use any of Document's other formats. So in this sample workflow, you can see we have a few questions collecting basic information about the client's marriage and children. Once the user has set up their document questionnaire with Clio question types, they can come into their template document and using the document word add-in called the document tagger here in the header, login, select the appropriate document questionnaire, and then begin adding variables. So we can see under the simple variables section that since we've added a Clio variable in our workflow, we'll have all of these fields from the Clio entry available to select as variables. Even though we've only selected in the workflow, the only thing we had to enter was the client name, we can access all of these other fields from, from the Clio data. So we have all of their, their contact information as well as any custom fields that we've created in Clio. So here we can highlight, for example, this first name, select under client name is the variable name that we gave our Clio contact that we selected. So we'll select their first name, insert the variable, Make sure we have a space and do the same thing for the client's last name. So we can continue to tag the document in this way. Since the user has already entered the client's address inside of Clio and then we selected that client's name in our document workflow, we can see here that we can add the primary address state, so we can enter this client's state of residence without having to ask for it specifically in our document workflow. We can indicate the number of children, the number of entries that are filled out in the children repeating question with the simple variable number of children. We can also use logic to dictate when certain words and phrases are shown. So for example, we might want to say that if the user only has one child, they will want to indicate in this document that they have one child. So we can go into the document tagger, select show phrase when, select the variable children, this indicates the number of children equals one. Insert that condition. And now the word child will only be displayed if children equals one. We can do the same thing with the word children and indicate with the show phrase when that we only want the word children to be displayed if more than one child is entered in the questionnaire. We'll do table in this case. And we can wrap this entire table 
in a show paragraph when condition for when children is greater than zero. So this table will be hidden if there are no children. Now when the client saves this document, they can go back into the editing view of their workflow, click on the Output Documents tab, and then within this Output Documents tab, the user can drag and drop or browse to choose the template file that they've just tagged. So now if we save this workflow as it is and we run it, we can see that this who is the client question is our first question as we set up. And when we click the drop down, this is our list of all of our clients in Clio. So, so we can scroll through it. We can also search for that client that we just created. And then we'll continue to answer the rest of these questions in this Will's workflow about this client. When the user completes their workflow and clicks submit, their documents will be generated. So they can download them either as a PDF or as a Word document. And here we'll see that all of our information has been input. So again, we have our client name here. We have marital status, their spouse's name, all of this information that we've entered formatted as we've chosen. And then if the client ever needs to update this, it's fast for them to generate the document again. So maybe the user needs to go back into Clio and change something about this contact, perhaps this user no longer lives and works in New York, they've moved to California. So the user can go back into Clio, make their necessary changes to the contact, save the contact, and then if they run the workflow in Document again, either by going into Data Manager, taking their previous entry and rerunning it, or by starting over and selecting the same contact, when these documents generate, it'll contain the updated information. So now it'll say California in the state rather than New York as it did before. The user can also go back in through the data manager and change the client's information in another way. So perhaps the client has had another child. They can add another child. Continue. And then with no extra setup, we can generate these documents again showing this updated information. In summary, by using Document with the Clio integration, users can leverage the data that they already store in Clio to automate the generation of their complex documents using Document. Thank you for your time.